just because the coach decided to move on from him for a number of reasons. Clearly, the Washington Commanders felt like Carson Wentz, even though Tyler Haneke had moments at the quarterback position for Washington, they felt like Carson Wentz was a major upgrade because they went out and got him. They certainly have this style of running the football, playing defense, and do not allow him to screw the game up. I think Ron Revere and the offensive staff there certainly understands how not to have him throw the ball 50 times a game, not put the ball in his hands. Just make a few plays, man. That's all you got to do, and I think Carson Wentz is more than capable. Oh, gosh. You see that throw? Uh, yeah, yeah, more than capable <laughs> of doing the job. It's just uh, it's like, right when I was getting ready to say uh, more than capable, Time they show is. a highlight of an unavilified uh, throw. Oh god, timing is everything, Keith. Timing is everything. <laughs> Here's the deal with Carson Wentz, oh, god. and a lot of people are based on what they saw at the end of the year and that game against Jackson, where they had to have it and he couldn't deliver. But to your point. Before that, he was more than capable as a perfect component and complement to the running game of the Indianapolis Colts. So, yeah, they're going to punch him that last game. I think he's going to be just fine to Washington Commanders. They did draft Sam Howell in North right. Carolina. But I think having that coaching staff and not making throws <laughs> like that against the San Francisco 49ers, it's real. He'll be the starting quarterback at the end of the season down in Washington. <laughs> I, you, you know, man, when I see stuff like that, what the hell are you scared of? That's a well, that's, that is that's a panic question. move. That's you. You panic when you do stuff that's like that. That's a good question. You get. It's almost like when I play quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. No, I didn't play quarterback. I had a reverse pass, and <laughs> I get it. Right. Them big dudes coming at you mm-hmm. full speed. It looks different. I mm-hmm. got put in that position. We played against the Rams, and I ran a reverse pass. Right. And I, I respect the quarterbacks. I respect it. It's a lot happening. Tru- sure. Trucks coming at you full speed. Uh-huh. And I panicked, and I just threw the ball in the air. I was intercepted. But I'm not – I hadn't done it 75 games in my life, 100 games in my life. I've done it a couple times. This dude, he's been doing it since he was two years old. And he just – ah, man, that, that right there, I don't even <laughs> – He had a Sam Donald moment seeing ghosts. <laughs> but he didn't do it one time. No, he it didn't. was multiple it was times multiple throughout times. the year that he did that. Mm-hmm. Like here, you take it. I don't want it. All right, let me let me try to cheer Keyshawn up a little bit and I talk about so. his favorite team, uh, the New Orleans Saints. Oh, Jameis brother. Winston will be the starting Ooh. quarterback at the end of the season for the Saints. Real or not real? Ooh. It is certainly real. Jameis Winston will be the starting quarterback. Here's another guy, right? Even the fact that he's on the list and we're still questioning on whether or not Jameis Winston should be the starting quarterback at the end of the season for the New Orleans Saints. Another guy who was moved on from at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had to play behind Drew Brees. We give him no credit for when he took over for Drew Brees going 5-2. and two. At least a lot of people like a James Steele and a Patrick Costello will not give him the credit for wow. that 5-2. and two, Given the fact that he was without Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara at times that year because of injuries. Now you get all those guys back healthy with the with the bringing in will uh, bringing in I'm sorry Chris Olave mm-hmm. at the receiver position and, and you Landry. look at Jarvis Landry and a healthy Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara a defense it retooled with Bruce Allen not Bruce Allen Dennis Allen now all of a sudden becoming the head coach instead of the defensive coordinator I, I look at that sort of stuff and I say to myself. This is going to be really good for Jameis Winston to get off to a fast start so he can stop the hating by a James Steele and a Patrick Costello since this is my favorite team. If somebody else said it was their favorite team that had a relative on it or whatever the case may be, <laughs> you all wouldn't even be saying this. It, blood is thicker than water. There is major nepotism from me when it comes to the major. New Orleans Saints. If Michael Thomas was moved on to the Kansas City Chiefs, it will be nepotism there. I would love Miami that. Dolphins and any other team. Number Don't one, use my full name. N- 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 number one, using the government name, well done by you. Number two, dropping 32 bars and also name checking. Outstanding. You were spitting on that one. It, it, James Winston's going to be fine. He's going to be healthy. Coming back from the torn ACL. We mentioned Jarvis Landry. Michael Thomas can't guard Michael B. That once again. They won't have, have Alvin Kamara the first six games. But with that in their right. defense, they're going to be fine. They're Here's what fine. I say, Freddie. I see Mikey all the time. Mm-hmm. And I never ask him about, hey, man, how you doing? Are you, you ready to go? I don't never ask him that because I can look at him when he's walking. All I do is look at him. I look at his body mm-hmm. and what he looks like and him moving around and walking and his attitude. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not. DNA fine. is the, the DNA is right there, buddy. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to start asking him questions and have him think that you're sure. They they become um, worried. There's a stress level that they uh, have to deal with. 
when it comes to making a decision on a quarterback, especially in this situation, because if he plays okay, now what do we do because he has a contract issue? If he doesn't start to play okay, we can always remove him, cut bait, Mm -hmm. and start all over again because if we run the course with him, now we got a contract situation we have to deal with, and we don't want to be put in that situation. I hear you. I hear you on that one. I I mean, I feel you. I just think Brian Dable has shown he could be a quarterback whisperer, and that if he gets the most out of Daniel Jones, then that's going to be something that's going to benefit not just the Giants and Daniel Jones contract-wise, but Brian Dable having a quarterback that he believes in, not maybe trying to start with a Tyrod Taylor. But I definitely hear what you're saying when it comes to Tyrod Taylor, though. All right, up next, Kenny Pickett. You didn't think uh, he'll be the starting quarterback? Yins. Well done, Weston P.A. At the end I got of the it. season down there in, uh, in Pittsburgh for the Steelers? Not real. Not, real? Not, not, not real at all. I, I understand the, the, the <laughs> love fest with Kenny Pickett. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, he's in the building right next door, Pitt Panthers. I get all of that. But I like Mitch Trubisky. I think Mitch Trubisky is way more athletic than Kenny Pickett. He is very – he can push the ball down the field. He can pull it out of the belly of the quarterback. He's athletic. He can run. He can do all those sort of things. There's a sour taste in individuals' mouths because what happened in Chicago, the blame game was live in the kicking on Mitch Trubisky. He goes to Buffalo, and for whatever little bit people think, he certainly had a resurgence in where there was in practice, preseason games, whatever the case may have been. People felt like Mitch Trubisky certainly deserved a second opportunity with a fine organization in Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kenny Pickett may be the future at some point if Mitch Trubisky doesn't work out, but I think Mitch Trubisky starts week one and ends week 17 and into the playoffs of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I agree with you with these, with these two na- with this one name, these two words, Matt Canada, the offense coordinator. He is going to do a lot more for Mitch Trubisky than whatever was done from Chicago because now the kind of offense that Pittsburgh wants to run, they couldn't really do that Ben Roethlisberger. They can do that now. That's going to play their strengths of Mitchell Trubisky. He's got some wide receivers. If Chase Claypool can live to him believing that he's a top four wide receiver, that's going to help the quarterback. Got the running game in Najee Harris. I think the offensive line has to be a little bit better. But I think Matt Canna is going to do a lot more for Mitch Trubisky than Mitch Trubisky can do. And that's still going to benefit a Pittsburgh Steelers team in a very tough division in the AFC North. All right, up next, Ryan Tannehill will be the starting quarterback at the end of the season for the Tennessee Titans, real or not real? Real. I think Ryan Tannehill does just enough to hold them off. There's no question about it. Malik Willis is a very talented quarterback and athletic and all that, but he is not ready to take over on NFL level. I think Ryan Tannehill can do plenty. Strong running game. Okay, yeah, he screwed some things up in the playoffs, gave the ball to the Cincinnati Bengals multiple times, but sometimes the ball bounced that way. I think if you keep Derrick Henry in the lineup, this is what Vrabel wants to do. Run the football, Mm -hmm. play defense, manage the game with a quarterback. They should be able to do that. Yes, but it will be his final year as a starting quarterback, the Tennessee Titans, because Malik Willis is going to really learn the system and be a better quarterback down the road. And Ryan Tannehill, I don't worry about Keyshawn so much of him having scars what happened last year. He's heard enough of that in the offseason, the three interceptions that he threw being a number one seed in the AFC. I think he's going to overcome those scars and make this Tennessee Titans a worthy team in a loaded AFC. But I think next year, Malik Wills will be the starting quarterback of this team. But this is Ryan Tannehill's job no matter what happens. 